In this video, we are going to discuss about SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol, and what is the use of this for network engineers. Hi, my name is Sudhanshu, and on behalf of iMetadata team, I welcome you to this video. So let's talk about SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol. It is a very important protocol for bigger networks and the point of it or the main use of it is that we want to monitor things okay we want to fetch regularly some information from the network devices and for that purpose what we do is we use some form of monitoring tool okay when you use a monitoring tool okay there are many companies who build these uh, things for different network devices what it does it basically uh, sends query messages asking for details about certain things let's take an example suppose i want to monitor maybe a link okay which is very critical for me uh, maybe it is a wan link and i want to know that when it went down or when it went up and maybe i alter some things based on that so if you consider this take this image as an example i could run an snmp manager i could have an snmp manager running somewhere querying about this thing or whatever else we want to query to an SNMP agent. Now an SNMP agent will be a network device who is currently being monitored and asked for these details. Okay, So it might be a router, it might be a switch, it might be a firewall. SNMP manager will basically send queries asking for things from SNMP agent. And SNMP agent will send a trap notification based on the requirement. Like if something gets up or down and then they can send a trap notification for this to SNMP manager. Now, what's the point of it? The point of it is that if we have this monitoring tool or a SNMP manager, maybe we can configure it, okay? There are many um, vendors like SolarWinds, CA Spectrum. They can have these monitoring tools configured for their email related things, such that suppose I want that if that business critical van link goes down, I want an email. So I could configure my monitoring tool that if it gets a certain trap notification from SNMP agent, it can generate an email and send it maybe to the network team. So this way we don't have to make a person sit there constantly monitoring this particular link. So this is how it actually helps in terms of managing the basic things about network. And it's very widely used. And there are basically, if you consider about the versions, there are three versions in this. SNMP version 1, version 2, uh, not much difference in both of them. But SNMP version 3 really made a little bit different approach. And uh, what happened is, till SNMP version 1 and 2, all of this communication between the SNMP manager and agent was all clear text. There was no encryption involved. In it. Okay, things were pretty good. but. Some people were skeptical about it in terms of like having an encryption. So with SNMP v3, okay, or you know, sometimes people refer to it as secure SNMP. What happens is the communication between manager and agent gets encrypted. So we are a little bit uh, more safer in terms of using SNMP v3. A lot of network devices nowadays are supporting SNMP v3 and are utilizing that. That's pretty much it about SNMP. Thanks for watching.